Here I've set up a tread and a riser. And I have clamped this riser to my bench just to kind of keep it in place. And I've drawn five lines on the back of that riser. And I'm just going to drill a hole through the riser into the tread and screw it in place. I'm using a 332nd inch drill bit, which is 2.43 millimeters. I have some short screws. These happen to be one and a quarter inch screws. So, uh, you know, about 30 millimeters. And I'm going to put it in there right now. Now that those two screws are in place, I can drill the rest of these holes and know that it's all going to line up. Now I'm not actually going to put the screws in yet, and I'm going to take these out. I'm going to glue this joint together right here. The glue is really what's going to hold it together. The screws are just acting like a clamp. So I'm going to take these apart, glue this joint, and then screw the rest back together. And I have four more of these units to do. Well, I said I had to make three more, or four, four units total. And that was true, but I only want to put the back piece on three of the four units. The reason is because the bottom step, it has its own fascia that goes down here. So all I've done is taken one of the completed units and turned it upside down and then put the second riser on there. That gives me a square base for this shelf, or sorry, for the tread. That allowed me to mark these holes and drill and screw them together. So now I just have to glue it. All right, now I have three units assembled. The bottom one has the front fascia. So this will be the staircase here. Now I'm gonna take each unit and screw them to each other. So here's step number two. Here's step number one. I'm going to create a one inch, 25.4 millimeters, one inch uh, overhang here, just like I have here. And I'm going to screw this one into here. Same thing for step three into two, and step four into three. Now I have something different planned for the back piece here, for the riser here. So I'll get to that in a bit. All four stairs are glued and screwed together. You stair one, two, three, four. Four doesn't have a back piece yet, but that's on purpose. Uh, I wanted to point out I did make one mistake. Uh, I'm good at making mistakes. The back piece between each, the, which is the riser, the riser between each tread uh, is 4.8 inches tall. And the reason is because it extends behind this tread. So if you take that and put it on top, it'd be here. So really the distance from the tread to the tread is 4.8 inches. Well, I cut that 4.8 inch piece and I put it down here for the front riser, which just sits on the floor. Well, of course, that's three quarters of an inch too long because there's no tread for it to sit on. So I'd have to make sure to take that off and put in a shorter piece. This would be 4.05 inches. All right. so. That's that. And this is pretty neat, but it's not good enough. So now we have to put our stringers on. And so here's a stringer, and the way that I've designed this thing, and put it right on the side like that, is that this front section, this corner, is gonna sit at the lower inside corner of each tread. So if I put that right there, you see this lines up, hold on move dummy that lines up flush and when I put this back corner on that one it's kind of hard to do with one hand there you go now you guys can see that corner lines up that corner lines up that one and that one so that's how this 
stringer is going to be positioned and of course the front is flush. Now the back piece just to confirm that this is working right here remember this section here sits against the front of the contact table and notice that the back of the tread is also right against that front so it's perfectly on. Now because this back section is sitting against the front of the table we couldn't put uh, a riser here. In fact the table is the riser. That said, there will be this distance from here to the top of the tread that will have a hole. So I'm going to take a scrap piece of three quarter inch wood because that's what this distance is here and that will fill that hole. It will also extend down a little bit and give me a place to secure these stairs into the table. And I'll show you that of course. But for now, I'm going to glue both these stringers in place just how I showed you with those treads right on the bottom corner. You can see on there step one, two, three, four, and step four I have the back piece in there, the back riser. Let me show you what I did over here. So it's just like I said, piece of plywood, three quarter inch to match this cutout, and this is where my agility table is going to sit in here, okay? And so that goes all the way down here. Now this is real good because it gives me a place right here to screw into my table legs to hold this staircase in place. But it presents another issue. It sticks out whereas nothing else in the bottom sticks out. And I don't like that. When I'm not using my agility equipment, I like for it to be able to put be able to be put against a wall. So if I have it like this, I can hang the staircase on the wall. Uh, you know, and, it, and it'll just be out of the way and that'll be great. But not with this board in, in the way. So, what I'm going to do to address this is I'm going to copy this angle right here and I'm going to rip this board down at that angle. Then I'm going to buy a piano hinge and put a piano hinge right here to allow this piece, if I can get my hand to do it, to fold up this way. So it'll come up this way and fold out of the way. So this piece will be hinged right here and it will fold back this way so I'll have a straight shot all the way down the side and I'll be able to hang it on the wall. Yet I'll still be able to hook it to my table so I think that'll work out really well. So I finished this last uh, little attachment point here and I have the piano hinge on it and of course the stairs are upside down on my workbench. And the cool thing is here, you know, when I want to hang it against the wall, I can just flip that brace down. And now, oh, it's totally flat, so I can sit it right against the wall. And then, of course, when I want to use it, I can flip this up, and I'll have some bolts going right through here. And that's how it will attach to the pause table. So, let's take it over to uh, the table and see how I did. Well, here I am under the Agility uh, contact table, and I just wanted to show how I attach these stairs to the table. Um, well, it's nothing really too complicated. I just put stairs in place, drilled a hole through one of the legs, and put a carriage bolt through there. I have a wing nut and a washer on the stair side. And of course, I did that on both sides. You can see, and this one over here is pretty dark underneath the table. Well, I have the stairs attached to the table, my messy table that I need to clean off. But you know, I just wanted to show uh, how the stairs attached and um, what it really looked like. Uh, my dog just woke up, so she's not really in high arousal right now. Uh, but I'll put her up there anyhow, just so you can see the five inch, near five inch rise uh, on the stairs and what that looks like for a bigger dog like my German Shepherd here. Uh, and then the last thing I want to show you is, you know, you might think that these stairs are kind of weak being just plywood, but you know, I'm a bigger dude and I'm going to show you that they're not weak at all. So, come on, Pidgey. Come on. Girl. Good job. That's a girl. So, come on up. Come on up. So you can see she fits on the stairs just fine. No problem, no problem at all with uh, the stairs. 
<laughs> supporting any kind of weight. Ready? Get. So I still have to paint them and put some texture on them so they're not slippery. But overall, it worked pretty good. Well, the stairs are done. And uh, one thing I wanted to really make sure to point out is the real reason for these stairs. I mean, there's a lot of different ways you can build a set of staircases, but all out of plywood like this, here's the reason. They're very, very light. Now, I'm a pretty strong guy, but still, these are really light. Uh, probably around 40 pounds. So, uh, I think this has been a really fun project, and uh, I just have to go paint them.